Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and just thought maybe some of you would like to see what Farming Simulator 17 looks like at 4 in the morning. Look at the stars out there. The wind blowing. Lots of sounds. Crickets. An owl. Yeah, I'm up a little bit early. Just gonna wait till five in the morning and go collect the chicken eggs, but thought it might be kinda peaceful to see what this looks like at night. I'm running out of mouse pad there. <laughs> this uh uh structure over here is uh I don't know what you call this. You drive through it. It's not a lean-to, it's a, yeah, not really a carport, it's a building. It's got lights in it, which is kind of nice. Not many of the buildings do, the outbuildings. This one is lit up, let's just see the equipment at night. Keeps it safe. Hard to vandalize it when it's all lit up. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Anyway, let's head over toward, in fact, let's kick the, uh, kick time up to 120 times the speed and get closer to 5 a.m. Run through the barn here. Over to the chicken coop. There they are. If we get there just as we're hitting 5 o'clock, we should hear them waking up. So they're all just kind of taking their time getting, uh, you know, getting themselves used to the day starting, and there's a few of them walking around. Go ahead and collect all these. That's right. Is it a? That's an E. Yeah, E button. And here in a minute or so, we should hear the rooster crow. You gotta get really close to get that to trigger. Or am I just lagging? No, you just gotta get really close. Ah, I think that's what was lagging me. Now. Interesting. I sit here and hold the... Oh, you've got to just run over it. That's right. It's been a long time since i played this. Just got to walk over it. I've been standing there hitting the E. Now they won't quiet down. <laughs> hitting the E, trying to get the egg to pick up, and it's just not doing it. Uh, let's pick up the eggs. Maybe if we hit, uh, happen to be in that part of town today, we'll sell them off. I'm trying to figure out what to put into the uh, field we just cleared out. It's going through our inventory, all of our different grains. Am I pretty much done? There's a way to, to know. If you head over here and... What would that be? Vehicles, finances, animals, chickens. No chickens here. Statistics. Eggs in coop. There's still one egg out there somewhere. I've got 71 on my backpack. It needs to be sold. Okay, so I'm not going to go search for the one. But, um, where am I? What's my fastest way back? I guess I was in the middle. There we go. We just cultivated this one. I just finished it up last night. Uh, finished all the little jobs we were doing last episode. Brought all the equipment back and going to make a fresh start today. I see this doesn't truly pause. The game continues to run in the background. It just kills the sound. Interesting. Um, what goes there? And do we want to do any other field purchasing this episode? That's kind of what I'm thinking about. Uh, we put in the oilseed radish up here at 3. Let's go this route. Green or kind of a turquoise? No. What's the... Turquoise is more bluish. What's the one that's more greenish? Anyway, kind of a green-blue. Uh, oilseed radish. So, also, there's something else I wanted to show you. I left a note from the very first episode and didn't deal with it that I wanted to check what our plant growth rate was at. It's set for slow, which means it's going to take a long time before harvest is going to be ready, or at least a longer time. It's still really quick, but it gives us more time in between plantings to do other things. So it was set to slow all along. So that, um, um, not canola, that soybean that just uh, was just harvested apparently was right on the verge when we shut down the episode you know seven months ago 
plant weathering is off. Had that on for a while, and pretty much every crop that I didn't own all died and made the whole map ugly, so uh, thankfully it all recycled eventually. Um, periodic plowing required, yes. We want to plow it if we need to, though not, it, that's every third round, and, and uh, so we're not going to see very many more before this series is over. Fertilizer states is what I wanted to get to. Normally it's a three. Uh, it defaults to a three, or I was going to say there's an off, but I guess not. After we had done that several times, you know, for 20, 30 episodes, went ahead and switched it to one. We don't need to see, you know, running the sprayer over every crop twice in order to get that one up to a three each time. So basically, a fertilizing is all that we're doing now, just to just to have the step in there, but don't need to emphasize it anymore. Otherwise, you can kind of glance through the rest of this time scale 15. I thought I took it down to 5. Okay, well, we'll take it back to 5 now. So it's been running quite fast in the background, hasn't it? Hmm. How fast you want things to get dirty? The the vehicles. Automatic engine start. I brought that up first time, too. So you can have it uh, automatic engine start. Off, on. I would have thought that would have been on. Oh, automatic is off. Yes, that's right. Normally, by default, you jump into a vehicle, the engine starts up immediately. I wanted the, abil the ability to sit into a, uh, in a quiet vehicle and talk. So that now we have to manually turn the engines on. Anyway, that's what's up with those. Um, let's keep going this way to here. So, I was glancing through here. Notice you're trying to figure out what to plant next. And we are quite low on barley. Now, we've got barley planted here in 24. And I see this barley in 23. I've been thinking about that one too, just because it's convenient to have two fields across from each other. Kind of like what we're going to do here. I had wanted this one, the, this couplet as well at one time. But we're low on barley. So the two that are already planted probably covers that. We've got 32,000 of wheat. That's more than enough. We've got 45,000 of canola. 14,000 of sunflower. And we've got both of those already planted. We got just about everything planted right now. We've got uh, soy, we've got sunflower, we've got canola, wheat, barley. What we don't have is corn. I was trying to remember how we ever got a hold of this corn because we don't have a corn header. I'm thinking it was in anticipation of building up toward the ability to feed pigs that we went ahead and planted something in corn and then leased a corn header for one time back before we added the millions and we're trying to to make the you know a go of it just on our own earnings which if we'd gone through and sold all this stuff off we would have quite a bit in the bank this is money in the bank right here but i think that's where that came from you know a dozen episodes ago and and half a dozen months ago but we could get into corn we're going to get into this. We've got the equipment to do this. We may as well do all three of these and just get them onto the map and, and get one more exposure to them before we call this series done and move on to a different map. So let's play with these guys. And I'm thinking corn. Where, though? And that's kind of a small field. Small enough that um, sugar beets is kind of an annoying crop. So so is a... Uh, um, potato for that point because it's a narrow path to plant it and to reap it to, to harvest it so it's a just back and forth and back and forth a lot with a just a, a narrow long piece of equipment so i'm thinking that might work better in this little field right here it won't take quite it won't be so painful to harvest it so maybe we'll go with sugar beet in here and maybe we'll go and buy 23 because 23 is is on just about well the middle stage of harvest. It's getting close to the end of its window before it withers. So if we bought this one and got that harvested of barley, we could add that to our, our barley, which is quite low, and get that planted in corn. And the corn header, you can get a pretty good sized one. In fact, that'll give us a reason to, uh, to go get into the harvester. So harvester, corn header, and do all of that. 
I'm thinking sweet potato in there, and that leaves all well, the potato which we're putting up in here. So I think that's kind of a plan for the next couple of episodes. So we want corn, we want sweet potato. Let's get this going. Yeah, we're we've got at least another six hours before this guy weathers. Six game hours. So we can get this guy going. So also with oilseed radish means that that's the only stage of fertilizing we need up in here. So we'll go ahead and spray this one for fertilizing. And then we'll plow. We'll oilseed radish this one too. Hopefully by then we'll find out that this does get, one is plowed in, it does still count as the fertilizer layer. I'm just wondering if plowing it kind of clears the slate and it no longer records what was in the field before then, meaning the fertilizer that we had just put in. I don't remember the stage there. I haven't done a lot of plowing in this this game yet. And we haven't actually gone through very many days in all these episodes because I run it at a slower speed. Anyway, let's dive into this guy, then go get this guy. I think that is our plan. Time is at 6.22. Yep, time kept going in the background. All right. So to plant that guy in sweet potato is the same planter. Where is that one? That's over here. Let's drive over there. And don't know what horsepower that took. Let's grab the Massey Ferguson. Where are my pedals at? Oh, they're crooked. That's why I felt weird. Thread the needle there. There we go. Oh, almost. There we go. I'm thinking something over here. Plants of sweet potatoes. I'm kind of thinking it's this guy. Oh, that wasn't the backup. Let's do the other backup. Something like that. You... I don't know, he does canola, so that's probably not it. That's not it. Um, I'm not, that's soybean. Um, why? Yeah. Well, there's corn. And that's one that's going to take sweet potatoes right there. Uh, sugar beets right there. <laughs> and then sunflower. So this one will do our corn and our sugar beets. How wide was this one? Field 23 is quite big. Just want to make sure we really want to do it with that. That's a decent width. This guy over here does the normal stuff. Much wider width. Very wide. But it only does, you know, grass and wheat and barley and what have you. Hmm. Guy over on the on the right. I know where I'm looking. I don't know where you guys are looking. <laughs> uh, we've got a good supply of fertilizer. Oh, that's right, we can fertilize with this one. So we don't need to spray it afterward. Okay. Then let's do that. Let's put the sugar beets into this one. And it'll fertilize at the same time we get all the steps done and go off and do something else soon. Like buy more cattle. That's something else I was thinking about too. Maybe we'll see if we can squeeze that into this one too. Buy some more cattle so that we can get more of the of the the, the slurry and the uh, the manure in place. Maybe we can actually use that before the map is over. Since we can't buy it ourselves, we need to make it. It takes a long time to make enough to do a whole field. That's something you do when you're playing this on your own. You've got a hundred hours invested in it. Something like so. Let's take it over a little bit further. like that. And sweet potato and higher. There you go. That's helper H. Remember that. Alright, sweet potato's going in there. We're good. So we'll let him do that work so we can get those other two goals done. Go down and buy 23. I'm trying to think of what to drive down there. And then head out and buy cattle let's and then we'll clean up the cattle area and see how they're doing see if they need to be fed or anything so in that case let's grab the warrior 
and grab the cattle trailer. Which is where? That's over here? Or is it over in the cattle area? Let's go see if it's in our, in our, uh, over here with the other trailers. It's still a little bit uh, dark out in the uh, haze up here in the sh sh uh, shadows. Not quite full brightness yet. It's just kind of getting there. Yeah, that's him right there. Let's grab this guy and head down to Mary's farm. I think that's where we buy them at. And that was next to the queue again. The tab in the queue. Tell you, my finger isn't trained to, to find that. Alright, Mary's far. No, um, 23. That's where we're going next. Let's go around this way. So we bought 24 back in February when I was doing my last couple of episodes. Use the Coon Pack Equipment to plant all that. Seems like I let's see here. I'll turn my game volume down in case that's hitting the microphone. Seems like we did use the equipment that was all sandwiched together. They did the the fertilizing and the cultivating and the plowing all simultaneously. And then went back in and and or did we even tow a sower back behind all of that? It was it was quite a impressive uh, combination of equipment that was running through here, kind of all at once. Um, I'll bet you I can't even interact with this if I'm parked here. It assumes you're going to do a, a job for them, so it assumes that you're going there to place equipment to get started. So if you're parked in the way, then you can sit here and hit R all you want. Nothing's going to happen. There we go. We've done a lot of work for James Harris. So we've got a price down about as low as it's going to go. We could do one or two more jobs if we wanted to. He wants us to... What? I must have done something right because my fields are bursting to the seams. No, they're not. They're not well fertilized. I've been watching you. Looks like I'm going to have to bring in some extra hands to help haul it all in. Good thing I picked up that extra harvester last season. Yeah, I'm thinking about that too. Um... If you want in the on the action, there's eleven grand for you. No, but I'll buy from you. Ooh, thank you. So we now own some barley, and it's ready to harvest, but not yet. Let's go get the cattle and um, <clears throat> get them um, recycling some food for us. Let's be able to put it that way. Turn the lights off, and let's head off to Mary's farm. Three and a half million. I'm pretty sure now we did put all those extra millions in so that we could just have a lot of fun for the end of this series. Like Field 5, seems like that was over... Was that close to 1.5 million for that field? I know it was over a million. And I was chatting with Kathra the other day about Field 5 and an idea hit me. I think it's an idea that I had back then too, but never had the chance to... Uh, i got to make a turn up here. I guess I'm just going to go slow. Um, never had a chance to really do anything with it. But you know what would make a real neat series finale? Is to buy Field 5, pick up maybe three harvesters, bigger harvesters, something with a big storage tank, and then a big, bigger tractor, or even, I've never actually run the semi-trucks in this game. But something big enough to haul some massive tippers trailers and track behind or you know in amongst those harvesters and keep them unloaded see if we can't bring in an entire field of wheat or barley or yeah, wheat wheat looks good for harvesting especially if it goes into the night and all the lights are on it might be kind of fun as a final episode for Goldcrest Valley in which case, we needed that money, because we've got harvesters to buy, and we got that big, massive field to buy. Oh, so it'll be a few episodes before we get to, to that point. I've got quite a few goals to hit before we hit any kind of a series finale. And I'd sure hate for that thing to come uh, you know, re ready for harvesting before we're ready. Alright, let's 
That's right, there's no backing in. We just gotta get into the space here. Okay. Well, what was the command? I'm gonna try R. Ooh, nailed it. Cows, let's buy all that we can fit into the, uh, into the truck, which is six. We must... Did we buy two loads already or one? We have six or twelve cows. Well, let's confirm these guys. Yeah, we'll buy these guys and... How many cattle do we have? Animals, here you are. Cows, we have 12. And productivity, 99, except for the cleanliness. And what's the chance of the next next animal still in 40 hours? Wonder why that is. Just because we have so few? I don't know. I mean, productivity, 99%. And as fast as a uh, as a season happens in this game, with three days and you got a whole harvest in, you'd think this would have been accelerated a lot more. At least I would have. Okay, so got them, and we'll see all these numbers drop by by a third, oh by half, when we put a half as many animals back in. You guys are in there. You are. Let's see in. Yeah, there they are. Pull out a little bit here. All right, let's jump in cab and head back this way. See if I can remember where that cattle farm is. <laughs> Down in the the uh, southwest corner of the map. Try not to take these corners too fast. We're gonna we're gonna be tipping in cattle over back there. There's a lot of weight. I'm hardly touching the gas, and I feel all the weight behind me pushing me. Now, best route was nine. Not this one. Next turn. Get up to max speed there, then just coast in. This one will coast. Unlike the pickup truck. Although I am shedding speed pretty fast here. Yeah, I haven't touched the brakes. So I guess it's similar. Just more weight behind it. Now we've got a bridge to cross, or should we just stay on this side? Let's see here. We could kind of weave back and forth all the way to it. Yeah, we could do that. For the sheep, we needed the bridge. Big fields down here. A lot of hypnotic harvesting down here. <laughs> but Cathro was asking if we could buy Field 5 and split it up so it's not so intimidating. Get uh, maybe a couple of different crops in there. That's interesting. And uh, yeah, that's definitely possible. We can go through and. I wish that there was a way to put a road texture down. I can put a cultivated you know, field texture down. I can put a grass texture down. Um, I can put a fertilized cultivated dirt down. I can't really put a gravel down that I know of. That's kind of annoying. These guys loaded where? It was right in this area, wasn't it? Seems like we make the corner here and back into that gate. There they are. Yes, yeah, that square right there. All right, we'll pull through. I wonder if I can do this from in cab. I don't think I can do it by. Uh, well, I can kind of do it by mirror, but it's a lot easier from here. We're almost straight already. I just don't have a good sense of depth with this game. I could be five feet from that door right now, or I could be twenty feet. I just don't know. Just don't get a realism there. It's, it's still. It feels too two-dimensional yet to me. It's not the, the right depth of field there. Um, R, right? Yeah. Let's unload. Are we unloading? There we are, right down there. Okay, you're done. We got 18 cows in there now. Confirm. You really want to unload these animals? I think. Okay. All right. <laughs> So with that, how are we here now? We well, we're still doing pretty good. Enough to 
probably enough to finish off the uh, the series before it actually gets down. Productivity is 99. Let's go ahead and work on the cleanliness. That's this button. And I can leave this here for now. This guy. And do we have... We do. Let's hook up the, the front loader. The, the forks or the... What do you call the part that you hook the forks to? Guess I could look that up. The arms there. All right, Q, and we're in, right? Yeah. I'm gonna run this a couple of times. Now, before I started up the other day, I went through all the mods, and that one... Really? I'm hitting, I'm hitting something invisible in there. There we go. That's some really thick yellow paint. Um, the one mod that, that uh, was the rig that went behind here with a, uh, a tractor wheel that would spin and knock all the, uh, the grass back in. That one, I, it never really worked right, or at least it didn't work for me. And I was eliminating all the mods that we weren't using. I want to, you know, when games update, it's usually the mods that takes out your series. So I decided I want to get rid of as many mods as I could. So that one I decided to toss out. Thankfully, it didn't break the save by not having the mod in there when I turned it back on again. It just gave me a warning that it's going to, uh, you know, it's not going to be there. All right, let's do that. And I saw one more thing over here. Can I make this turn? I cannot. Well, I could if I kind of did that. Kind of. Oh, well. All right, there's a pile over here that we had dumped before. Because we ran into the same problem that the uh, that we did at the sheep farm. That It was already full of grass. There. So let's get that loaded up into here. Okay, I gotta scrape that wall apparently. Right there. There we go. There. So we just dumped it over there to get rid of it. Let's turn this around. Look at those sunflowers. Not gonna make it. Helper H has completed their task. So we now have sugar beets. Now this guy I should be able to dump right into the feed trough. Even though that's more of the... Uh, you were going to go right there, weren't you? Uh-huh. More of the uh, total uh, mixed ration color. Let's go into there. Now, can we do this? Yes, we can. Alright, that's good. So there's 18 cows. Let's let's make one more run. Let me say we get 24 in there. And I think we'll just leave this on here and just park them. Okay. Turn you off. That way, by the time we finally hit the last episode... Well, tell you what. What kind of quantity do we have? Liquid manure, nothing. From pigs. Ah. From cows. Liquid, 7770 liters. Hmm. I'm not sure what these quantities truly represent. I guess we haven't used it before. Seems like it takes a whole lot more liquid manure than it takes fertilizer. So, yeah, let's do one more run. Um, let's take this back there and see if we can make that turn. Yeah. Let's go get one more. Yeah, well, I'll stay out here this time so we can enjoy the sights. Here's the, uh, the sunflowers, and they all turn toward the sun, even in this game, just like in real life. So you see them rotate through the day in the game. Seems like Mary's Farm is always planted in sunflower, too, so I think that's just something that they tend to, to do down here. Though this one is usually sugar beets. I've, I've, I've topped all these before. That looks like sugar beets. 
Yeah. Oh, bad memories. <laughs> on and on. Let's see, Mary's Farm is over those mountains over there, or hills. Right? We were over on the other side, though. Can I get there from here? Yeah, we're gonna have to go right around this corner. Go ahead and get some speed up while the while the trailer's empty. Stock trailer. Pulling up the hill. Hey, it does it like a champ. Do this in the little uh, New Holland. <laughs> I'll still be down back behind us there thinking about it. Now, I'm going to load in this direction this time. There we go. Cows, buy six more. There's $30,000. Confirm, yes, and go. I'll take the, uh, the highway back this time. But that's what's always confused me. Apparently that's just where you can sell it. I was really hoping I could buy it there. I tried it one time, and I sunk the, uh, the front loader into that thing, and it's like I hit a wall of concrete. It's hard as a brick. So, can't buy it, unfortunately. And we've got the game speed set for five times. I'm going to leave it there. That way we'll see a little more natural day to night cycle than uh, in the last couple episodes. Okay, down the hill. Let's see how much engine compression I've got here. Well, we're still slowing. A little unrealistically, but we're slowing. <laughs> Alright, not clear. Kind of clear. Go for it. Now, if I was using the steering wheel, I'd go ahead and use the blinkers. But for me to do that here, I've got to let go of the mouse and go and find that number pad 1 and 3 and then not crash into a light pole while I'm trying to find my mouse again. And it just doesn't work, so I'm not going to do that. So we're 50 miles an hour in here, so I'll stay to the right lane. Although all the cars drive 30. So they're not driving their own speed limits. So, kind of, I guess, ignore those signs. Not as, uh, as believable. Now, where's my turn? I don't remember. Cattle... Looks like it's one, two, three more from here. Right about the time we get to the red car, we'll need to make that turn. So I'm thinking right past the river would, would be fine. Blinker, yeah, I can give it a try. There's, well, we can't really see it. That's interesting. Did it turn off on its own? Had it running. It turned off on its own. I think I have got a mod in here. More realistic lighting. I think that was one of the features. Is it turned the blinker off for you when you made your turn. Because default game, I'm pretty sure, it'll just keep blinking for the rest of the game if you, uh, if you don't manually turn it off. Alright, this was tricky finding the way in. Oh, there it is over there. I wanted to be over on this side, but it's not. So here's where you load up the slurry. And there's where you load up the manure. There's not much there. So 6,000 is a little number in, in terms of, of these things. That slurry tank was down at the bottom. It should be full to the top with 200,000 gallons. At least from what I remember 
from uh, previous versions of the game. I've not really used it much this time. Okay, right there. Arp. Unload. Zero. Um, confirm, and yes, I really mean it. And now we've got 24 cattle. All right, <clears throat> we're cleaned up. And food-wise, we're iffy, but we're still 100%. We get a couple of episodes from now, we'll come back and we'll fill all this up. Sheep, same thing. We'll, we'll uh, fill these guys up then. Water and cleanliness and water, yeah. But there's still a thousand liters in there, so it's still going to last for quite a while. Does it give any sense of a timer? Next animal in 25 hours, so the quantity did make a difference. I guess your chances of reproduction are higher. I don't know. Okay. So we're good here. Um, we're 36 minutes into this. Let's take this back. Dump it off. Take a peek at field. Oh, too fast. My bad. Take a look at field um, 14. I think that's where we just planted our sugar sweet potatoes. How do I get out of here? Let's so we'll go this way. Get in cab. Make this a little bit easier. Easy to oversteer from outside because you have less of a perspective than when you're sitting inside and you're, you kind of feel like you're actually there. Um, let's go this route. We haven't gone home this way in a long time. And, you know, it might be 25 in here. I think it is. I think 50 starts out there a little bit. Oh well, let's just get there. So... Next episode, I guess we'll harvest 23 that we just bought. And possibly, well, we have to plow in between. Yeah. We can get the plow going behind the harvester. Maybe get the sower going behind the plow. That could be a challenge. Is this our turn? Yeah, this is our turn. Here, I know it's 35. Now, we want to be in here to park the trailer. And this trailer was right in that slot over there. Where am I headed? Ooh, that is tight. That's almost too tight. I'm going to take this another way. I don't think we'll make that turn. Let's sacrifice this little tree right here. Come back around. And pop in right through this bush over here. <laughs> All right, something like this. So much easier from outside of the cab. Oh, that felt tight. I need to see that from out there. Yeah, that's what I wanted, though. I wanted to get the trailer around this pole right here first. We're still going to push it into that pole a little bit, aren't we? No, we're going to clear. Okay. Yeah, just clear. About like so. Yeah, by like so. Okay. Are you ready already? I guess we've gone through another stage. Now this is ready to harvest. It's it's getting a little more interesting, isn't it? And you are wheat. Okay. Let's see that. Which means that our barley down here just went to the final stage. Um Right here, growth. Yeah, we are in the danger stage. After this, we're going to drop into withered. Otherwise, this is the beginning stage here. Um, this only has two stages, if I remember. Seems like the oil, the oil seed radish is meant to go rather fast. These guys are there. So we got a couple to go on these two. There'll be a whole episode right in there. 
So that guy's got to be dealt with, and that's got to be dealt with. So I think we're looking at the small harvester, setting him loose in here, and going and picking up a bigger harvester in preparation for the finale, you know, a couple of rounds after this particular harvest, which is wheat right now. Yeah, wheat. And there's wheat here. Let's get this harvester running. I'm pretty sure he can handle this in one tank full. Now, seems like it does get about two-thirds the way through and then it runs out. But we'll just have to let them run out. And then we'll head over there and, and look at harvesters and that'll probably be the end of this episode. And I think that's a, a decent plan. So, and the harvester has to be driven home. How do we get over there and get back? I guess we have to leave something over there. Park this guy over here. Okay, and we've got the other equipment over there. It can sit there. The, I'm looking at the top of 14 over there. You can see uh, some tail lights. Is that what that is? Hmm. What do we drive over there? Let's go ahead and drive the warrior over. No, we got to get this guy going first. I, I'm missing a step. Let's jump into here and get this harvest going. Actually, I'm going to start over here this time. Seems like I've had trouble with this hitting the shed with equipment. I'm going to take the, uh, uh, the first row off of here and then turn them loose just to make sure. All right, so what did we decide last time? B? Yeah, that's what it was. An X. Oh, I never folded it. Never folded it up to need to unfold it. Okay. So let's do this. Yep, there it goes. We'll stay to the outside a little bit and not miss anything this time. We'll take this one off and then I shouldn't have to worry about um, the equipment tangling up back there with that shed and getting a warning that uh, helper Z is... is uh, is uh, blocked or something like that. And this one I'm capable of... Let's see, what am I set for? Okay, we're, we're chopping it up. This one I'm capable of bailing. I don't really want to get the bailing equipment out for this one. So let's not do that. We could do it for the barley, though. It's a bigger field down there, 23. Yeah, let's do that. But, um, let's see, it's this button here. Yeah, on my mouse. Mouse that I bought just for this game because it was driving me nuts that I couldn't do all the stuff with my other hand, so I bought a special gaming mouse a year ago just for this one. Let's line him up better. Something like that. Hire you out, and de eject. You just have a ball. Okay. So let's run over to the shop. Actually, you know what? We could do that from here. I'd rather make the drive. Yeah, let's head over to the uh, the Symphony of Chickens that we started the uh, the game with, uh, the episode with. Right there. Good music. And P for shop. Let's look at harvesters. Uh, before then, let's look at headers. I want to be able to do corn and sunflowers. Okay, we planted sunflower. Did we do that in anticipation we'd be buying another head? Header? Garage? I looked through here before we started this. I did not see anything that could take off sunflowers or corn. You <clears throat> don't. We have a trailer for something big. I'm pretty sure it's for the something big that we leased. But I did not see anything else in here capable of doing that. It seems like we rented the biggest thing that our current harvester could hold. And yeah, we're getting into other equipment, miscellaneous, and then buildings. Yeah, it's not here. Oh, here's the coon stuff. But there was no uh, corn in, in the coons. Okay. So, 
back and so we want to get into something you know that can do corn and sunflower at a pretty decent width there's six meters what is our very biggest in the game and let's backtrack from there this guy does sunflower only okay this one no so we're probably looking at yeah, I don't want a sunflower only I want to be able to hit corn too this guy will do both he does 12 meters wide unfortunately I don't know if it folds or not I see something there and there are these pivot points I would love to have one that folds up but if we have to trailer it we have to trailer it so the capello does 12 meters wide um, where we're going to be using this can we handle the biggest equipment you are the new Holland you do nine wide that may be doable so if we go with the new Holland you mount to the what the CR 1090 so let's look at the CR 1090 what else can that one do he's gonna be like this there's the C 590 so show me the CR 1090 oh you're the big one you're the biggest one Wow okay don't know that I want to get into that though he's capable of all of it I was kind of hoping to stay maybe down in this range We've got a couple of cases we got a Massey Ferguson what can the Massey Ferguson hold the power flow and the HS 12 <clears throat> it's kind of a puzzle putting this all together again the something flow in the HS 12 what were they again <clears throat> the Let's see if I can find something that looks familiar power flow 35 feet Wow or was it the free flow <clears throat> hmm now I don't know now well hmm the New Holland capacity let's go that route what are we dealing with right now oh I'm at the beginning again you know I had a feeling uh, the sense that there were more choices in here right, so we have this guy in the garage he does 6,000 that's way too tiny let's go to the end we've got 14,000 12 12 12 I think 12 is kind of where we're we're shooting for so is that an R the Rostel mash or the case 92 Torum 760 case 9230 all right let's look at headers for that I assume we're going to be out in this area you 9230 okay you 40 feet wide 45 feet wide wow which is 13 meters okay that's this guy you the CR 10 the Delta you know I've been scrolling through here trying to get all of these in my head and what matches what and I think it would be wiser just to spend a little time after the episode and kind of study all this figure out which ones are the more recommended seems like Klaus had left some good comments way back in January or February on these episodes as to what he thought was the best harvester I think I'll go back and try to find those and figure that out for next time so what do you say we uh, pop out here with the chickens and we'll call this one done we'll call this one nearly full grain tank okay well that's where we're starting next time um, call this one not completed I guess that'd be the better way to do it and with that I guess we'll say goodbye bye